Are you okay? Uh, Saki. Where's Osugi? Is he all right? Lay back down. Osugi is fine. Actually, it turns out we had mistaken him for someone else. But he's back now and safe, so there's no need to worry. Oh. I guess I must have passed out back there. Saki, when you got to the hotel, was there anyone else there with me? No. Tell me this. Why do you think I'd go home with someone like the Johnny Hunter? You know me better than that. I'm sorry. It's just that all the messages were being posted on that lonely singles forum I see you on every day. Idiot! I thought we discussed this. No one's supposed to know I use that site. If you want to talk about love, my ears are open anytime, honey. Hey, no, that's enough. Let's, let's just drop it, okay? I know you're angry, Osagi, but Kasuka's observations can't be passed off as a mistake so uh easily. We couldn't reach you on your phone, and we saw pictures of your bag. Based on that, anyone would have thought it was you calling for help. <laughs> okay, now this is the bag that got stolen from me, I'll give you that. Still, you twisted freaks couldn't come up with a single rational explanation for why I might have my phone off, really? Like, maybe some of the guys <sighs> at my new job dragged me out to the bar and got me wasted, you know, like initiation? And they took your phone away while they poured uh, shots uh, down your throat. I've been there. <sighs> What's important is you're okay, and the fact that you didn't get your Johnny chopped off. Can't shut up! So to recap, after you left the dinner you had with Kasuga, somebody made off with your bag. Then that same somebody happened to encounter the Johnny Hunter, and began posting on a message board you frequent, while being held against his will at Hotel Insomnia. That sound about right? Don't forget, then Taki busted open the door. And by that time, the Johnny Hunter had already fled the scene. All he found were traces that someone had been held in the room previously. I feel like there's something I need to ask. What will our relationship with Takizawa be from this point forward? I need to get going. I don't want to be late for work. Once I'm done for the day, I'm going to meet up with Saki. And if the four of you are truly serious about teaming up with this Takizawa guy, then I'm sorry, but this will probably be the last time the original members all sit in the same room together. Wait, how come? Even I have pride. And I intend to keep it. Hey, Osugi, wait! Well, what do we do now? I don't think Taki's a bad guy, but... Even though he seems to have the best of intentions, there's still a lot of mysteries surrounding him, like how he found the hotel so quickly and his ability to slip out of there undetected. One thing that's for certain is that he's not your ordinary niece. I think our best option is lay everything on the table and be straightforward with any questions we have for him. He should be here any minute. Oh, did Saki send you a text? When was that? A few minutes before Osugi got here. Uh-huh. Says they're on their way. I don't know. Should we have let Osugi leave like that?
she stopped the police from getting involved? Am I the only one who doesn't know about the other Celesau? I'll have to find a way to read the older activity logs. Do you understand the situation we're having with Osugi? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's good. So, there are a number of questions that the group would like to run by you. If it's about the business, I don't mind being the proprietor. Well, I... that's one thing, but... That way, if something goes wrong down the line, I'll be able to take full legal responsibility. Oh, and, uh, as far as all the rights and dividends go, I'm cool with splitting those evenly between us. Well, that's very generous of you, Taki. I feel bad asking this, but I need something from you in return. Uh, would any of you be willing to look at this phone and maybe fix it for me? I can't seem to turn it on. Well, that's strange. I don't even see a port to charge it. So what is it you need off of here? Are there messages from before you lost your memory? Yeah, something like that. Hold on. You have two of those phones? Where'd you get the other one? Hmm? Oh. Oh, I found it in the theater. As for what sort of data could be on that one, I really have no idea. <laughs> that's no surprise for someone who has amnesia. Michan, can you fix it? I'm good with fixing computers, not cell phones. That's too bad. <gasps> Wait a sec. Maybe Itasu could have better luck with it. Huh? Panties? You know, you may be onto something there, Saki. Hold on. What do you mean, panties? Nickname. It's a guy we went to for advice and ended up using as a consultant when we were putting together our site. Hmm. He's one of the best programmers out there. The whiz kid of Kyoto, they call him, or at least they did. Did? He has quirks. For the last two years, he hasn't once left his apartment. It's gotten so bad, he isn't even in school anymore. All right, I think I'll go pay Panties a visit. Huh? Uh, you can try, but don't be surprised if he doesn't answer the door. We'll see about that. I'll get him to open up. Hey, wait a second. Aren't you going to ask us for his address? Huh? You'll give it to me? Why don't you let Michan show you the way? <laughs> he has a soft spot for girls, so having her by your side should help you get in the door. Huh? But I don't want to! I hate panties. The guy's a creep. Come on, you don't mean that. Look, as a fellow programmer, you know exactly how his mind works. Plus, you speak the same language. And while you're there, don't forget to ask him about his progress on that big world computer project. I'll text him, let him know you're coming. Fine. I'll go with you, too. It's the same place he was living at before, right? The little studio by the river? <sighs> Do you think they'll be all right? Well, they don't make the most promising spies, but... Wait, they're gonna spy? Come on, sis, even you have to be a little curious, right? It's Takizawa's past. If there are clues on that other phone, then we'd be stupid if we didn't try to check them out. Let me go. I'd make a good spy. Sorry, but you're not gonna get any info out of panties. It's like I said before, Yutaka Itazu has a big soft spot for women. Yeah, and? That's supposed to be some brilliant observation that's true for all guys. Ah. <sighs> I'll text panties and meet Sean and have them do a little snooping around on that second phone. In the meantime, let's go over these documents Takizawa brought in line by line and see what we find. If he's trying to pull a fast one on us, then there's gotta be a hole in here somewhere. No responses yet? No matter how many times I use this, Eden's capabilities still blow me away. I wouldn't have any trouble identifying him if he were a student here. Hirosawa, you really are something else. Hasegawa? So what's this panties guy like anyway? <sighs> well, he's a programmer and a good one, which means he has a tendency to believe that he's the smartest man in the world. 
Ah. Do you know how Hirasawa first met this guy? Yeah, Hirasawa told this story once. It was at some seminar they both went to freshman year. It's funny, every time they see each other, they get into a screaming match. But they're actually really good friends. Huh, interesting. So, what's this about him dropping out of school? Well, I don't really know all of the specifics. But around two years ago, we heard he lost his only pair of pants when they flew out the window, and his brilliant solution to the problem was never to leave his apartment again. He's apparently been a shut-in ever since. I don't get it. He has no pants? Hm. I found a high level of skepticism necessary when dealing with eccentrics. He used to brag about how he could predict the movements of society, and as it turns out, he was right. But of course, soon after accomplishing that, he got bored and abandoned the entire project. Loser. Are you talking about the world computer? Yup. I'm gonna try and take a nap. Well, how's it going with the real estate contract? From what I can see, it looks legit. I confirmed everything with the city, so, from my perspective, Taki's as clean as a whistle. Okay. So all that's left for us now is to come up with a company name and register our official seal. That's it. We're almost there. I wonder what we should call ourselves. <laughs> I don't know how you guys feel, but I'm starting to think the mall is too much space for us. We might be better served with a few small offices, just enough to maintain the system. To me, that huge mall just seems like overkill. True, but I think we could eventually put all that space to good use. You know, in many zombie movies, shopping malls are depicted as symbols of a decadent civilization. For the survivors, they're seen as the final paradise to hole up in. So if we are the survivors, then the mall could very well be our perfect Eden. Interesting. But wait. Let's try turning that scenario around. What if the Neats are the ever-multiplying zombies? Huh? If you look at it from that perspective, then perhaps we aren't the ones who would find solace at the mall. Are you home? Here it is. Looks pretty normal to me. The way you guys made him sound, I was half expecting barbed wire and booby traps. <laughs> Don't let him hear you say stuff like that. We want to flatter him, remember? Right. Maybe I better let you take over, Miton. Put a sock in it, will you? This is a private residence. No one wants to hear your rambling. Wait, did I hear Michon? Are you panties? I don't know who you are, and I'd like it to stay that way. Did the girl from the bakery come along, too? Yeah, long time no see. What's up? Do me a favor. Run down to the convenience store and grab me the latest photo and lit magazines. What? Just order them online. I don't have time for that. There's too much going on. From the whereabouts of the missing neats to the truth about Careless Monday, and now this guy who survived having his pecker chopped off. Lots of crazy stories have been developing ever since the Prime Minister said uncle, so I can't be waiting around for stuff to be shipped here. Just leave the phone with me and go home. I'll see what I can salvage when I get time. Go back to Tokyo and wait for my call. Unbelievable. Come on, just go buy them for him. Let's go, Michan.
Just because you're doing me this favor doesn't mean I'll let you in. Hey, Itazil, tell me, are you interested in any incidents involving the Selasau? Look, buddy, don't pretend like you're interested in my cutting-edge research. All you'll end up doing is corrupting my data. I don't need some vintage gene-wearing hipster butting his nose into my work. Besides, I'm willing to bet the first time you ever heard the word Selasau was when that lame-ass politician said it on TV. So nice try. Well, maybe, or maybe not. What if I told you I am an actual Selasau? See my phone? Check it out. Hmm? I wonder if he'll let us in once we bring back his magazines. Who cares? I don't want to go in there anyway. But the whole point of us coming all the way out here was to get him to fix the phone. I know. Why don't we try to find Itazua's sweatsuit? Then he could start leaving his apartment again. What do you think? It's a good idea, but I'm not sure it would make a difference. Huh? How so? Well, it is true that he lost his only pair of pants, but I doubt that's the only reason why he's such a hermit. You know? I guess. You're right. He did tell him to say uncle. Told you. How did you figure that out? Because I'm the one who did it. If you're interested, I can give you some dirt on the mass need disappearance and the Johnny Hunter stuff that people are confusing it with. I also know some info about the accidents in Rapanga yesterday and how they're connected to the Selasau, but it's up to you if you want to hear it or not. Online, everyone is just blindly accepting the idea that the Johnny Hunter victims and the neat disappearances are the same story. Who the hell are you, anyway? I already told you, I'm a Selasau. Just let me inside, Itazu. I think everything I'm saying will make more sense once you start analyzing all the data inside this phone. Tell me more about the phone. All 12 of us were given one when we became a Selasau. You would be amazed at what it's capable of. I thought there were only 11 Selasau. <gasps> what the hell? What is this place? Hosazawa? Hasegawa? Kisei, Shibuya, Okara, all different. And yet all of them are somehow connected to the same person. <laughs> Careful, Saki. This guy's more dangerous than we'd ever imagined. This is Hidesawa. It's Osugi. Is Saki there with you? No. Something came up. She went to Kyoto. Kyoto? Why? It has to do with Takizawa. I sent her to go visit Penny's place. Did Takizawa go with her? Yeah, he did. Idiot! That was stupid! I'm sure she'll be fine. Me too, went along too. <sighs> Look, that's not the issue! Come to the movie theater in Toyosu and you'll see! And, and make sure you check out the picture of Takizawa I uploaded to Eden and all the crazy things people are posting about it. He's a criminal. Just look, you'll see what I mean. I don't know what kind of trouble he's mixed up in exactly, but whatever it is, it's big. for the last two years due to the unfortunate loss of my only pair of pants. But ever since I learned about the missing Neats, who I see as my fellow compatriots, I've become inspired to do whatever it takes to solve the mystery of their disappearance from within these walls, and I vow to never see the sun again until it's finished. So tell me the truth, are you here trying to trick me? Here. <laughs> 